Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, dazzled alongside husband Prince William as the couple arrived in Abaco, in the north of the Bahamas, on the final day of their Caribbean tour. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are on the final leg of their eight-day visit to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee year. Prince William, 39, and Kate, 40, arrived in the Bahamas after stints in Belize and Jamaica. The royal couple traveled to the Abaco Islands, hearing about the impact of Hurricane Dorian on residents of the Bahamas. The storm hit the islands back in 2019, and is widely seen as the Bahamas' most catastrophic natural disaster. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have spent time at the Daystar Evangelical Church, which was damaged during the hurricane, and hear first-hand testimony of experiences during the devastating storm. This comes after a speech on Friday, in which Prince William hinted that any decision made by the countries the couple visited on their tour to break away from the royal family would be supported by the Duke and Duchess. The future king said if Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas voted to become republics, the choice would be met with pride and respect from the monarchy. Speaking in the capital, Nassau, Prince William said the relationship between the royal family and the Caribbean Commonwealth states was changing. He added, relationships evolve. Friendship endures. He continued, next year, I know you are all looking forward to celebrating 50 years of independence, your golden anniversary. And with Jamaica celebrating 60 years of independence this year, and Belize celebrating 40 years of independence last year, I want to say this, we support with pride and respect your decisions about your future. The Duke and Duchess's royal tour was met with significant dissent from local residents, including a protest outside the British High Commission in the Jamaican capital, Kingston. Opla Disa, who helped put together the protest outside the British High Commission building, joined the chorus calling for the monarchy to acknowledge and make amends for the slave trade. Ms. Adisa called William and Kate beneficiaries, adding, they are, in fact, complicit because they are positioned to benefit specifically from our ancestors, and we're not benefiting from our ancestors. She said, the luxury and the lifestyle that they have had and that they continue to have, traipsing all over the world for free with no expense, that is a result of my great, great-grandmother and grandfather, their blood and tears and sweat. On Wednesday, Prince William and Kate met with Jamaican Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, and his wife, who said the country was very happy to host the Duke and Duchess on their royal tour. However, Mr. Holness added their trip was an opportunity for issues to be addressed with the backdrop of vocal protests in the country's capital ahead of the couple's arrival. He told the couple, you will have seen the spectrum of expression yesterday. Mr. Holness said, Jamaica is a very free and liberal country. Meanwhile royal author Tom Bauer sat down on Sky News to speak on the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's royal tour of the Caribbean. Prince William and Kate Middleton have been facing backlash for England's history of slavery and colonization of the Caribbean islands. Many Caribbean people want an apology for the brutal history of colonialism. Mr. Bauer accused the Foreign Office of not doing their job properly by preparing the royal couple for the tour. He royal tour has been described as a disaster as the tour has gained much bad press due to many Caribbean public figures speaking out and slamming the couple. Speaking to Sky News, Mr. Bauer said, I think what went wrong is it starts at the top in the Foreign Office and it goes down to the High Commissioner in Jamaica that they didn't prepare properly and understand what was going to happen when the royal couple stood in front of Prime Minister Andrew Holness. That he was going to use their presence to score very, very cheap political points. That's the sort of thing that should be anticipated by British Foreign Office officials and by the couple's own staff. It was a very bad visit and so humiliating for a couple who I think are just wonderful, who try their hardest and do their best for Britain. They were put in an impossible position by Philip Barden, head of the Foreign Office and the High Commissioner. Those two officials should have known what was coming, they should have prepared the ground. It's been an absolutely humiliating disaster for them. He added, we have diplomats who are not well educated and intelligent and don't understand the art of politics and diplomacy and then the victims are Kate and William were humiliated and trying to do their best.